Hey Mig Toes, out here again, it's about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning or so, 48 degrees, man, temperature's dropping quick, winter's on its way, but uh, making a quick video here on just, I was just socially acceptable in just, not just in television and movies, but in everyday life, it's just okay to treat crap, to treat uh, men like crap treat crap like men, and to uh, just be violent towards men, how it's just okay. It's okay for girls to hit men. I've been hit by girls, numerous girls, you know, you just teasing a girl, just saying something just funny and, you know, kind of innocent. They think it's okay to, you know, hit you. They kind of play hit you, but they're still hitting you, you know what I mean? And it still kind of hurts, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know why they think that's okay. I mean, if a girl said something to me teasing, like, and I and I even play hit her, I mean, I'd be, I'd lose everything. I'd lose my, <laughs> I'd lose my car, I'd lose my job. I, I mean, I'd lose, I'd go to jail. I mean, just play hitting, it would be made an issue of. But women, it's just okay. It's okay for women to hit, and to treat men like crap. You know, it's just um. I mean, you, I was watching this, uh, what was it, How to How to Train Your Dragon, in the Harry Potter movies, and the female procrastinators are just perfect. They're perfect in all ways. They make all the right moves, and they say all the right stuff, and they, they, they're instantly experts, and they know everything, and all the boys are a bunch of bumbling idiots, just, you know, falling over themselves, just dumb, you know, they don't know their left hand from their right hand, and the woman is just, the, the female is just perfect in all ways, and it's just, men just fall in line to this misandric crap, I mean, that's just one of the reasons why in the past few years, I mean, I can't even watch television, I can't even watch movies, it's just so much propaganda, just so much crap, I mean, yeah, there's propaganda, there's political propaganda, you know, on all that, but just the misandry, just the, the the women being perfect and the men being a bunch of morons. And it's just, I mean, it, get, get a little sick of it. Hmm. Yeah, definitely get sick of it. Okay, you know this, this movie, um, Tomb Raider, based off a video game. It's an older movie, I know. Starring Angelina Jolie. There's this one scene where she walks in and she's she's beating up these like armed guards or something, and she just punches this one, and he just goes flying back like ten feet, like he was hit by a car. It just looks so cheesy. I mean, any any man getting hit by some skinny woman. And flying back 10 feet, just ridiculous. I mean, if Angelina Jolie hit this guy in the chest in real life, I mean, her arm would just bounce off. You know, I mean, she'd have to go to the hospital probably for a sprain. It's just not believable. I mean, I know it's a video game movie and it's fake, you know, like, and all that, but it's just, I don't know, really stupid and crazy. But I don't know, I guess people, society really responds to this. And I was watching some show, it's a newer show, I watched five seconds of it, and the, the scene I saw was uh, some Asian woman, and she's reporting back to her boss or something, and her boss was like, so, where is uh, so-and-so, uh, why isn't he with you? Like, oh, he didn't come with because he, he called me sugar, so I punched him in the mouth, and, and she's just okay. I mean, first of all, I don't use terms of endearment towards women at all. I mean, unless I'm dating her or at a strip joint or something like that, you know. But just to call a woman sweetheart or sugar or something, I don't know. I don't do that. But I don't know. I mean, he called you sugar, so you punched him in the mouth. If if I called a woman sugar and she punched me in the mouth, I'd, I'd probably be doing... Uh, 10 years for malicious assault. 
because I'd probably pulverize her face. It's just ridiculous. I get called hon, dear, sweetie, all the time by women, women at work, all the time. At no time have I ever felt degraded or wanted to be violent with these women. Of course not, because I'm a man and I'm a civilized human being. I don't know, just women and children, children and women. It's that, that same level of mentality or something, just uncalled for. He called you sugar so you punched him in the mouth. That is insane. Okay, th that guy should have picked up the phone and had you arrested for malicious assault. You should be doing two years for that. That is just a random act of violence. And her being an Asian woman and uh, he being a white man, I, uh, I smell a hate crime. Yeah, that's... That's the game the race baiters like to play now. <clears throat> oh, you know, um, what was it, like a year ago, they had that story in the news with that football player. His name was Ray Rice. I had never heard of the man. Honest, Honestly, I've never heard of him. I don't watch football. I don't follow football. I don't watch any sports at all. I'll watch the Olympics every couple of years, vaguely, and that's about all I watch for sports. I do not watch sports. If somebody's on TV, like, uh, riding a skateboard or something, I'll watch that. I would use to skate a little bit as a kid. But anyhow, Ray Rice, you know, he was in the elevator with his drunk wife, and she leapt at him, and he pushed her away. She leapt at him again, and he pushed her away, and she leapt at him a third time, and he popped her in the mouth and put her on the floor. First of all, she was drunk, so it, I don't think it's hard to knock out a drunk. But I remember, uh, of course, the guys I unload with, they're all big into sports. You know, like I said, it's all they talk about. Oh, sports and video games, video games and sports. But anyhow, this this one guy, he's a married guy with a couple kids. And he was like, oh, that, that damn Ray Rice knocking his wife out. You know, I hope he's just, he's out in the football field or something. And just a big guy comes and just decapitates him. Like, what are you talking about? Decapitates him for what? I've never been hit by Ray Rice in an elevator. Because, first of all, I would never leap at Ray Rice to get knocked out in an elevator by Ray Rice. Okay? I mean, this woman chose to marry a steroid-taking, probably drug addict, who obviously suffers from uh, alcoholism, who evidently has some kind of anger issue. She chose to marry this guy. So, and she leaps at him twice and he pushes her away and then the third time he busts her in the mouth I mean she knew he was going to do that what the hell is that she knew he was going to do that she knew that was to be expected of him she knows him and evidently she didn't care about getting knocked out by him because she stayed with him and it just the story went on and just got swept under the rug everybody forgot about it you know it just it makes good news for the time being like a man is not allowed to defend himself against a woman you know all men have to be clowns be made fools of around women not just in TV and in movies I mean in real life a man like you know has to entertain women you know like oh you have to make women laugh like yeah but why should I have to do that? Why can't I just be myself? Why do I have to be a, a jester? It's just... and degrade, It's degrading. You know, degrade yourself. Like Chris Farley, you know, dropping your pants and falling over, busting over, falling over a table or something. Some bumbling, dumb idiot. You know, that's what I think women want. They want a guy to be a clown and a jester and a punching bag for them. This play hitting they do that they need to stop doing. I don't know what that's about. I think that needs to stop. But yeah, it's just everywhere. It's just everywhere. It's misandry. You type it into Google, it doesn't pop up. It doesn't pop up in Google. It's not recognized by Google. Misogyny is. Misogyny is the dislike and the distrust of women. 
So if you're just a, a guy and you just say, you know, oh, a female doctor, no, I don't really, I don't really care for female doctors. I don't really trust them. That's misogyny. I mean, you're a pig. I mean, they want you drawn and quartered, castrated, you know, buried at sea, you know. But if you're a woman, you can just say horrible things about men. I work with women who say horrible things about their sons. They say horrible things about their boyfriends. They say horrible things about their husbands. Horrible things. Horrible things. Sitting there just laughing at their husbands and degrading their husbands. While they just sit around and just shovel junk food in their face. And their husbands are all putting in these long hours as truck drivers. And a lot of them own their own business. And they're just, their wives are all at work just saying all sorts of horrible things about them. Some girl, oh, every time my boyfriend says anything to upset me, I kick him in the nuts. Like, What? It's just, it's just unbelievable it's how men have let themselves become brainwashed by this misandric, a lot of it is just, I don't know why, but that's why I don't identify with Democrats anymore. It's just like these pussified, liberal, trendy men with like must, like handlebar curly mustaches and like glasses and these trendy dipty do haircuts walking around with these pink this is what a feminist looks like t-shirts it just like letting men just metaphorically castrated defenseless and they just go along with this crap some woman is beating the crap out of a man and he defends himself with just one she, she just repeatedly hitting him Repeatedly, get on YouTube. There's tons of videos of, of women beating the crap out of men, and just well, yeah. Of course, the videos where the men defend themselves that never makes it up because it's instantly oh, you never hit a woman. There are plenty of times, plenty of times when a man hitting a woman is justified. There's nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with a man hitting a woman to defend himself. I mean, these women just go ape shit crazy, just swinging like crazy. I mean, nothing short of, of pulling a gun out and shooting her. I know that sounds extreme and terrible, but nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with a woman leaping at you, jumping at you, swinging at you, so you, you bust her in the head and knock her out. I mean, nobody wants to do that. I've never had to do that. I think I've hit one girl in my life, and I was a child when I did it, and she was older. She, yeah. A lot of bullying. But yeah, of course, too, you know, I got in trouble for that. You just have to, as a man, you just have to take it. You have to like it. It's okay. Okay. Everyone, men and women, to, are all told that it's okay for women to hit men. He says something you don't like, you hit him. He does something you don't like, you hit him. Even this, like, this, like, playful hitting. It's just... It's not something good to be doing. It's not something that should be socially acceptable for women to even playfully hit men. It just, it's not, it's not cool. Like I said, if, you know, just watch these videos, watch these movies, watch the misandry, just watch any commercial. You know, the, the men is a blithering moron and the woman is a genius and knows everything. She's perfect. He's an idiot. He needs to be lucky to have her. Just watch these commercials and just watch and just think for a minute if the if the genders were reversed. What would happen? What would happen? I mean, it would be the end of the planet. So yeah, men, don't be afraid to defend yourself against violent women. Okay, don't be afraid to call out misandric propaganda in movies and TV. Okay, don't put up with women's crap. Because I kind of have a saying that I'm not going to sit here and put up with some woman's bullshit 
while my dick is as dry as a Sierra Desert. Okay? Don't put up with the crap. Even if they're, even if they're uh, putting out for you, still don't put up with it. It's just not something you want to get into. You don't want to be some pussified white knight, mangina. You know, oh, never, ever, ever hit a woman. Never, ever hit a woman. There are plenty of times when it's okay to hit a woman. I'm telling you that it's okay to defend yourself against violent women. It's okay. You know, women want to act like men, then we can treat them like men. So, yeah. All right, men, I guess that's about it on this little spiel. Men, don't be afraid to defend yourselves. Don't be afraid to defend yourselves. It's okay to defend yourself. Physically defend yourself from any violent person, even violent women. So, cool. This is Arctus Bouchort. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Thank you for watching.